I, I definitely agree that there is a, a trust deficit between the media and the public. Um, it And it's dangerous because it sends people to alternative media like like Vincent Jason Save the Nation. <laughs> That's very dangerous. <laughs> well, here's a, here, here's a stat for you guys. I love my, my stats. In During the time of Watergate, over 70% of the American people trusted the media as a good source. Now it's 31%. Yeah. And that is a tragic number. And believe me, the media, which definitely has a liberal bias, I don't think it's quite as bad as some people say, they have been their own worst enemy. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to disagree with you slightly there, David, only because I don't think the media has a liberal bias when you really look at it. Um, there are more conservative outlets uh, there, you know, and and when you look at the ratings and what people watch in terms of mainstream media and what people read in terms of mainstream media, a lot of that is conservative. And then when we talk about liberal, what what actually are you referring to as liberal? Uh, if you're talking about centrist media. Um, like I always say, for example, people bring up CNN. CNN is the third network. You know, they don't get even a third of the viewers of Fox News. Um, they're not really a, a left-wing network. They're they're an anti-Trump network. It's there's a difference. And and I think when you look at uh, the power of the left in the media, um, I don't really think it's it's quite. I would say that the right wing has a much stronger. Uh, and and this and you being someone who came out of like that Rockefeller Republican, you know, 1970s, 1980s conservatism, then you kind of get one of the strengths of uh, conservative media is that grassroots media ecosystem, the the AM radio, the you know, the now it's you know on the internet, the info wars and all of that. They have been so much stronger than the left. The left just has mainstream media. The left just has, you know, NBC and MSNBC and, and things like that. And I think when we say, when we talk about the media, we have to include the, the entire ecosystem. And I would say the right is much stronger. And well, this is one I, of the reasons why the current president is struggling with poll numbers. He can't, no, you know, and, and yeah. it's all his own fault as well. But, well, no, I, 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 I definitely think that's true. And certainly when I was talking media, I'm talking more mainstream. But CNN, let me push back on that a little bit. Do you remember during the first Iraq war, right, with Peter Arnett, the only reporter out of Baghdad, CNN was a strict news station. And you had Fox on the right, you had MSNB, MSNBC on the left. And, and now CNN has become, you can call it anti-Trump, you can call it left wing, but they're, they're no longer objective. And I think the major networks... Uh, some of their new cast are that way. And you look at some of the, the comedians on the major networks. So you're right. The grassroots smaller AM radio has been dominated by the right. But a lot of newspapers like the New York Times, I grew up in New York, New York City. I, I still love the New York Times, but it's definitely become more biased in terms of the way that they cover stories in the last 10 years. I don't think anyone can deny that. And I'm saying that as someone who really loves newspapers and loves, you know, loves reading. So I think that that that's where a lot of the, the uh, distrust has been sowed. Yeah, I think, you know, I, I guess I, I look at it, you know, in, in the aggregate and I look at like, you know, the things that the media pushed, even some of these so-called liberal outlets uh, throughout history. So when we, when we go for the last 40 years, the things that, that the New York Times has pushed, like, the war on drugs, the war in Iraq, those are all right wing, you know, kind of concepts that they've pushed, um, even though people seem to think that there's some sort of left wing network. Well, um, me, can, can I can I just offer that maybe sure. we're not thinking about this the right way? Maybe it's not a right versus left situation. Maybe it's sort of an elite versus the rest of us situation, mm -hmm. because what you have is news outlets that seem to the legacy news media seems to more and more and, and through the years, certainly represent the interests of the status quo ruling class versus sort of what the rest of us need for our, in order to like function as a democracy, right? So like in order to be a well-informed voter, to make good decisions, when you go into that ballot box, you need a media that you can rely on. But the problem is the media has blinders to all of the issues that actually matter on, on balance to the average person. I mean, right now is a good expression of that. Is Ukraine important in the minds of a lot of Americans? Yeah, absolutely. It is. 
But is it the single most dominant thing in the lives of the average American? No, it's not. But the media coverage right now is in no way commensurate with that reality. And that reality looks like, you know, the inflation and the gas prices, the opioid epidemic, the, the border being out of control, sort of all the all the basics that affect people in a very direct way yeah. uh, that okay. the press sort of elides over. And I don't know if that's necessarily a right left. No, um, Vince, I, I think you actually make a, a very good point because, you know, one of the, the main problems that the, Dem the Democrats have is they've discarded a lot of these working class white voters that used to be the bread and butter of their party, right?